Through this panel, or generator, we can quickly determine the parameters of the wind load, such as the direction, which could be multiple, and of course the corresponding speed, in this case, 60 meters per second. Furthermore, we could choose to consider closed any openings on the panels, for the wind flow to be prevented. And something very interesting, that under this deviation factor, the software will automatically generate all the corresponding wind loads around the structure. Hence allowing us to review our design in a more precise way. But let's initiate the simulation. And observe how all the different wind loads are taking place throughout the structure. As you can observe, both positive and negative pressures are being considered, namely, force and suction. So, the simulation has finished and we've finally obtained all the wind load cases. I'll just close this panel. Let's have a look at all the new load cases. For instance the case number 5. To begin with, and as you might notice, here we find the pressure graph of the wind, expressed in kilopascals. And that we could observe for every single load case.